question is how to draw a graph from a network. That is graph of a network. Right. Now what is a graph of a network? How will we draw? A graph of a network is a geometric figure where all the passive elements of the network will be represented by a line segment and all the ideal voltage sources, not only voltage sources, ideal voltage sources will be represented by a short circuit and all the ideal current sources will be represented by a open circuit, retaining all the nodes same. Right. Now I am discussing this through a figure. Say this is a network We will draw a graph of this network. Say in this network, this is node A, this is node B and here we are taking another node, this is C. In the definition, I have already told you, in the graph, all the nodes will be same of the network. That means in this network we have three nodes. So in our graph also there will be three nodes. So first we will draw three nodes. That is node A, that is node B and this is node C. Over. Now we have to see how many type of types of elements are in the network. Say, this is the resistance, that is the passive elements. This is the capacitance, that is also a passive one. This is passive, this is passive, this is resistance. Again, this is passive element. This is inductor, that means this is also a passive element. This is resistor, that is, this is a passive element. And this is a ideal voltage source, that is, ideal voltage source. So, passive elements will be represented by a line segment, right? That means here, between A and B, there is a passive element, that is the resistor. So, this portion will be represented by a line segment. So, draw this line segment. Now, between B and C, there are two branch, branches. In one branch, there is a inductor and another branch there is a resistor. Both are the passive elements. So this both both will be represented by a line segment, two line segments. That means between B and C, if this is for inductor, this will be for the resistor. Clear? That means this is completed, this is completed, this is completed. Now between A and C, there are two branches. One is containing this capacitor. That means this is a passive element. That is it will also be represented by a line segment. So draw this. And another one branch between A and C that contains a resistor and a ideal voltage source. So resistor is a passive element. So represented by a line segment and ideal voltage source will be represented by a short circuit. So short circuit will be also like this. So this portion that is between A and C containing resistor and the ideal voltage source that will be also represented like this. Over. So, this is also completed, this is also completed, this one is also completed. That means no more elements are remaining in the network. So, we can tell this is the graph of this network. Now, I am drawing another one graph containing a current source. If you see this, 
your idea will be totally clear. Say, this is another one network. Here, I am giving a current source. Okay? Say, this node is denoted by A, this is by B and this one by C. So, in our graph also, we have to draw three nodes. That is A, B and C. A, B and this is C. Now, we have to see how many elements are in the network. See, between A and B, there is a register. That is a passive element. That means, this passive element will be represented by a line segment. So, draw this. This is complicated. Between B and C, there is an inductor. It is also a passive element. That means, it will be also represented by a line segment like this. Between A and C, there are two branches. One containing a capacitor, another one containing a ideal current source. So, capacitor is a passive element. So, it will be represented by a line segment. So, draw this over is the ideal current source. Ideal current source will be represented by an open circuit. That means between A and C terminal, this current source terminal in which branch this current source is there, this terminal will be 